All right, guys, so it's finally time to start diving deep in this. You're going to notice that as we're working on the engine and we're going in detail that you're going to notice that the interior is getting ripped apart. And that's because we actually made that video at the same time as this one, kind of roughly. Uh, we're just going to be hopping back and forth, but that video is probably going to be posted first. Um, so you've already seen that. But what we're doing is when we got the car and we pulled it in the shop, uh, We noticed that the guy said that there's oil on one of the coil packs. So obviously when we brought it in here, we're gonna check it anyway. So the first problem we found was the actual intake boot was ripped and that's why the mass airflow sensor was kind of screwing up everything. But when you come over to here, take out this bank here, there's oil absolutely covered on the coil pack. So, there's obviously a problem in the head and there's a bunch of codes for misfiring and a whole bunch of other stuff. So we're going to have to dive into it and kind of look at it. I'm not too sure. We're just going to take the valve cover off and kind of look to see. I've never worked on BMWs before, so I have no idea. None of us have actually. So we're just going to go off what we've read about. Uh, so, but with the whole build, with boosting it, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be putting new coil packs in. So these will all be replaced. We're gonna put new spark plugs in there are better for boosted. Um, we'll also be doing a new intake down the line too with bigger injectors and probably a new fuel pump and a new fuel rail. And there's gonna be other things we do too uh, as we go along just to support the boost because we wanna to try to make as much power out of this car as we can off eBay stuff and kind of at a realistic budget so you guys can kind of see. So. We're going to start taking this apart, get everything unplugged and start wiring it and take it apart and kind of inspect it and see what we got to get in order for this. And just to see what's wrong with it, really, to try to figure it out before we go too far into the turbo build and realize the motor's gone. Uh, so let's start working on this and then uh, go from there. Yeah, these gaskets are fucked. Yeah. Oh, why are we not? Oh, look at that. Ugh. It's making a milkshake. I like it. I feel like everything looks good though. Cam looks good. Chain looks good. Then you play in it? You're solid, bud. Solid. Well, get your gaskets for that, put it all back together, and should be good. And then third ball.
Ni turbo. Big turbo. Do you need that gun to make a better seal? Good for it. All right, guys. So the gaskets finally came in, and there's a big difference. These are actually rubber. These are just all cooked up hard rubber. Plastic. So hopefully these will do the trick. We'll put all these in, cover back on. And we're almost there. All right, guys. So all the new gaskets are in. They fit perfect. So next time you uh, need some for your stuff for your BMW, just uh, eBay. Right, Riley? Instead of paying your dirty mechanics, hundreds of dollars to do it, just buy yourself some eBay stuff. Works great. All right, Riley, what's the torque spec? It's knocking down. Yeah. Really following the rules on this one, eh? They're all still loose. What it is, is we know we're going to probably pull it off again, so we're just, you know, not really fully tightening them, that's all. Alright guys, so further inspection of the car, we found this beautiful weight reduction that's been happening. You can see it right into the foam. Power cable for the car. So, we have a solution. What is it? Spray foam. Yeah. Oh, sorry, let me grab that. As I'm just ripping part of it off. So we got some spray foam, and this is good stuff. Then we'll plate it, and then we got some easy liner. So let's have some fun. Do one of you guys want to do the honors of spray foaming my car? You're doing great. Preoccupied. Are you spraying the whole thing? Just fill it. And then we'll plate over top of it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a hole. All right, so I didn't film a lot of this, but the plate is in. The welds aren't the best. They're all just grinding down because I'm just gonna paint over anyway. So now that this is in and it's pretty solid, now there's not a big hole in the bottom of the car. So we're just gonna throw some undercoating on that guy. And uh, that's gonna be it for this part. And then we'll be doing some uh, couple more engine stuff and then that'll be it. All right guys, so I decided to finally end this video off just with everything going on and there's stuff that I've had ordered for the motor and stuff that just haven't come in yet because of everything that's going on. So I'm gonna update you to where we left off and then I'm gonna close this off because we are starting another video for the hydro break. So we're gonna kind of roll into that one and just kind of go with the flow. So we did manage to get the catch can all installed. We got the new coils in and new spark plugs because in here, we realized that because of the covers, the valve cover gaskets were gone, it was full of oil. So we did new spark plugs and new coils, and it runs like a dream now. And another thing we also did was we deleted the secondary air pump, which I made this fancy little plate for. And I've realized that if the car's not fully warm, it doesn't like to run right. But other than that, it's good, it runs good. So we're gonna go ahead with the turbo. We're gonna start looking at getting that all ordered up and get the kit and then uh, make a video on that whenever it decides to show up with the whole uh, COVID going on. So just like and subscribe and follow along and we'll do what we can.